if you love God, guess what? You're going to teach his commandments. Now we are here for the love of our nation. Our praises, sister. How y'all doing? Happy Sabbath day. You say you know your nationality? What's your God-given nationality, sister? You American? Okay. Give me that book real quick in my um, bag real quick. It's uh, from, uh, yeah, that's my bag. Um, from Columbus to Castro. Give me that book. I'm going to show you real quick. That name of you being called an American was not given to you or ordained by God. Not even African, sister. Not even African. Because when you read, have you read the Bible before? Yeah. Have you ever seen the word Africa in the Bible before? Have you ever seen the word American in the Bible before? Have you ever seen the word Negro in the Bible before? What about nigger? Is that in the Bible? So now, what we have to realize and understand, give me, give me that back in Jer uh, Baruch real quick. That's what I want right there. I'm going to show you in history books the origin of that name being called African and American. You understand? Yeah. Let me get uh, Joel, I mean, Je um, Romans chapter 3, verse 3. Somebody give me another Bible. I need another reader. <laughs> Romans 3 and 3. I'm going to show you in your history, your true God-given history, that we were never called American by God. We were never called African by God. But you know what God did call us? Israel. He called a people Israel. The name Israel is the name of a man. And we are his descendants. Right. You understand? We are his children. Right. Here we go. Read on. Romans 3, Romans 3 Romans 3. Romans chapter 3, verse 3. Huh? For what if some did not believe? What if some of y'all just don't care what we're saying in this Bible? Is that going to affect God and his word? Sister, you got to ask yourself. Are you a part of God's prophecy? Read on. Come on. Shall their unbelief? Shall our unbelief? Anybody's unbelief? Read. Make the faith of God without effect? Is it going to affect what God said in this Bible? If we do or don't believe, read. God forbid. No, it's not going to change nothing in this Bible. Because when you read the true gospel of the Bible, what's your name, sis? I'm Taza Wan, Stephanie, okay? When you read in the Bible, God gave us a real name. It's, it was Israel. So he said what? God forbid. It ain't going to change nothing in this Bible because it's prophesied in the Bible that we would lose our nationality. And we call ourselves Haitian. We call ourselves American. We call ourselves Negro and black. But God never gave us that. That's what's in the Bible. So what are we doing? We're teaching the love of our people and their true God-given nationality. God never gave us these names that we go by today. Read on. Come on. God forbid. No. Yay. Let God be true. Do you all love God? You love God? God said, let God be true, my sister. He said, let God be true, Stephanie. Let God's word. Where do you find God? In the Holy Bible. Let him be true. And what? But every man a liar. Don't believe nobody of this Bible if they're not teaching it to you. Or if they're not showing you God's word. That's what we're doing. Everything that we're teaching you right now is not hate. It's not deceit. And we're not lying to you. We're teaching you God's word. We're just explaining it to you. Why? Because through the actions and the sins of our people, we know you don't read the Bible. I'm coming with you. So give me that in Deut uh, Deuteronomy real quick. I'm going to show you something, sis. Your true nationality. Here we go. Where did uh, ego? Yeah. Read this real quick. Come here real quick. I'm going to read you some history on America. All right? When the English and Spaniard settlers, settlers was coming over here to the New World, they gave these lands names, right? So let's see what happened in history, okay? Read on. Right here, right here, right over here. A German, right there. This is the book from Columbus to Castro. We got historical proof on when you are were called Americans and Africans. When did you take these names onto yourself? Because God never gave you the name of being called a Negro. All Negro means in, Span in Spanish is dark or black. Negro. An African is not in the Bible. An American is not in the Bible. Man took those names after themselves, and you go by that name today. Why? Because the government just called you that. Or a Haitian American. Where's your, where, where are you from originally? Orlando, Florida? Okay, here we go. Read. Where do you see yourself on this sign right here, if you don't mind asking? Judah. Judah. Okay, sis. So guess what? Jesus Christ, the Messiah, looked just like you. Right. His mother Mary looked just like you. What do I mean by that? Jesus Christ was a dark-skinned man. The mother Mary was a dark-skinned woman. Joseph, his blood father, 
was a dark-skinned man. Now, why is that important? Because our people are beautiful people. But in America, you have not been taught so. You are the greatest thing that ever stepped foot on this planet Earth. But you have not been taught so. So why are we out here? God wants you to know that you are the greatest thing on Earth. But you're not acting like it. That's why God's prophets are here. To show you how to be. Because Christmas is not of God. New Year's is not of God. It ain't in the Bible. Read that verse. Come on. Page 22. A German professor of geography christened the new world. It said geography because these are the people that set up different lands, Stephanie. You hear, you hear what I'm saying? Geography, meaning landmarks on the earth. Continents, islands, etc. Read, come on. Which Columbus had discovered. He named it. Because remember, they say that Columbus discovered America, right? That's a lie. He didn't even get up to the north of the Americas. That's a lie. Read on, come on. He named it America. So this Florent this German Florentine uh, geographer, professor, right? He named this land what? America. He named this land America. It didn't say God named this land. A professor of geography named this land America. Let's see why did he name this land America. And why do you all go by the name of being called an American today? What are we doing? We are teaching the love, the pure love, the gospel in the Bible. This is what fixes a Black Lives Matter issue in our community. You don't need Black Lives Matter when you're keeping God's commandments. You don't need a Black Lives Matter movement when you know who you are as a people. And you're not trying to assimilate with the enemy. You're not trying to hold hands with the snake that can bite you and poison you in this land of America. You'll know how to love your people. Read on, come on. After Florentine Adventurer. So there was a Florentine Adventurer. Read on, come on. Americo Vespucci. So there was a Florentine Adventurer. His name was Americo Vespucci. And there was a German philosopher, and he named this land America. You understand? God never gave you the name of African American. I'm going to show you when God gave us a true name out of his word. Give me the book of Genesis real quick. We're going to go with what we are really called by God first. Because you have to know that this Bible is speaking to you in order to change. Right. You thinking that you're an African American, you're not going to change your ways because right. you're doing the things that an African American would do. Right. You're selling the drugs. You're smoking the cigarettes. Right. You're getting drunk on the street corner. You men are out here whoremongering and labeling your women as bees and whores and stuff. I'm not calling none of our women that. What we're saying is we have learned to hate our people in our actions and in our ways and our words. What you're going to see from us is nothing but love in the Bible. Love in the Bible, which is God's commandments. What? Sister, I love you. Without even knowing you, I love you. Why? Because I want you to keep God's commandments. When you keep God's commandments, that's how you inherit eternal life. That's how you inherit the kingdom of heaven. This right here is the true gospel. This is the true word. Why can you teach this word in these churches? Because if I told you you was doing wrong by God, you wouldn't give me no money. Guess what? I don't need your money. I want you to be righteous. You owe God righteousness. We all owe God righteousness, but you don't love God. You ain't paying God his righteousness that he need from you. Read on, come on. Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. This is our father Jacob. God said to him, listen, your name is never going to be called Jacob no more. What is it going to be called? Come on. But Israel. But what? Israel. But what? Israel. Now, when you read about Israel, because God changed Jacob's name to Israel, you read about how God was going to bless the descendants of Israel's children. You are the descendant of Israel's child. You understand? Of his child, his son named Jacob. Jacob. Give me 49 and 1 real quick. In the same book of Genesis. In the Bible. In the King James Version Bible. Genesis chapter 49, verse 1. So now I'm going to show you. God changed Jacob's name into Israel. Now I'm going to show you that Jacob or Israel, what was going to come upon his children in these last days. We are living in the time of the last days on earth. Why? Look at what's going on around us. Look at all these wars that they're talking about. World War III is about to happen. God wants us to warn his people to correct themselves. We're teaching our sisters how to love themselves, how to appreciate their bodies and become married. How y'all doing, sisters? 
Why is it that, listen, we have multitudes of men out here and nothing but the women want to get themselves correct in the Bible. That's what's wrong with our community. Our men don't want to step up and change our situation. It's in our power. You just have to know who you are. Stop sitting down with your tail between your legs, black man, black woman. Be a leader. God created you to lead your nation. And I'm speaking it to you openly, man to man. God is speaking to you. We have to step up and take care of our family, man. Of our people, of our women, of our children. How are you going to do that? With your actions. Stop smoking weed. Stop getting into the politics and the sports. And change your community with God's commandments. That's the only way. You are only closer by God when you keep his commandments. Now, sis, I'm sorry, Stephanie. I'm dealing with y'all. Listen. You have a question, sis? Okay. Okay. What we're going to do is show you is that. Go go to that. Um, right, read right here real quick for Stephanie real quick. Come on. Genesis chapter 49, verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons. Jacob called unto his sons, who is Israel, read. And said, gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. God said in the last days, Jacob was in the spirit of God, all right? He said to, he said to his sons, come to me. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to your children in the last days. Now, when you keep reading down in this chapter, we will be migrated and, set, and, 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 and scattered throughout the whole earth. As what? As the children of Israel. Sis, real quick. Hold on, real quick. Never mind, she's going. Okay, so now, go back real quick. I'm going to show you. How we how did God put slavery upon us and why? Why does slavery happen upon us? We have to learn to not hate the history that happened to us when we talk about slavery. Slavery was a big thing that happened in our history. Slavery is not our history. It was a part of our history. Because when you read in the Bible from Genesis to Revelations, Adam was a black man. Eve is a black woman. Your origin, the original man that ever walked this planet Earth, they were dark-skinned people. So, Stephanie, let's, let me show you something real quick. Read that verse. Yeah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, 50, 50, 59, verse 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Y'all want to know why we have issues in our community? Why we killing each other? Why we got to go to another man to vote for him to be our president? Right. Why do we have to fight for rights to be treated like humans? It's because God has told us that we have not acknowledged our iniquities before him. Where your daughter went? She gone? Oh, okay. So I'm going to show you too in the Bible is that this is how actually in the Bible will teach you. This your daughter? Stephanie, this your daughter? Grandbaby, okay. The Bible tells us how the... The experienced woman in the Bible is supposed to raise their grandchildren and their children. The way is how you do that. Because the woman is a very important part of our community. We need the woman. Listen, we went into slavery with our women, we coming out of slavery with our women. Back to Israel. The man just need to step up and ask questions and stop being so prideful and come back to his God. That's what's wrong with you brothers. You hate God. Thus, it flows in your community. If the head is sick, the whole body is too. But we ain't going to be sick no more. We're going to fix our issues. Whether we wear purple or gold or whether you see brothers on the street corner teaching the Bible. You got to realize and learn and understand that the way we've been living as Americans is wrong. It ain't work for us. It ain't work. Sisters, ask yourself this. How is it that your black, powerful, beautiful black man have to go and assimilate to be like the white man to stand up for his nation. How is that? How can a black man say he loves God but he worships a white one? A black man can't be saved by a white God. That don't match when God in the Bible was originally black. You don't understand. You do not understand the Bible we're here to show you out of love. Because we hate to see the sin upon our people. Every single one of us right now God is looking at us. What are we going to do in our actions? And this is what he said. Read on. Come on. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Y'all want to know why you have issues in the community? Why you feel like God is not connecting with you? It's because of your sins. What you do against God, God dictates your relationship with him. You understand? If you're not doing what God telling you to do, he don't love you. Who this is? 
This is an image of Jesus the Christ. That's not how he looked. Listen, hold on, wait a minute, listen. This is a description of how he went. No, it's not, brother. We can have images. We had images in our temples. We had images. You know what's a sin? This is a sin. You think the white man was Jesus Christ. This is a sin right here. And sister, what we're trying to show you is that Jesus Christ never looked like this. Never looked like this. You understand? Jesus Christ looked like you. That's why we have this out here. To show you that Jesus Christ in the Bible looked just like us. But you don't know that. So we got to show you an image. Come on. Where you at? So listen. Watch out real quick. Your brother trying to get through. What's the purpose of an image? So that you can know how special you are. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. The greatest people on earth, we had images in our Bible of King David. He was a black man. Of the Mother Mary, a black woman. Of Sarah. Of Eve being black. If you don't have that image, you're going to forget. And you're going to act like an American. You're going to think that Superheroes and Superman is your idols and inspiration. You have to have a man set up a million man march. And ain't nothing happened after that million man march. Y'all were still selling drugs to each other. We still marching today. Talking about hands up, don't shoot. And ain't nothing changing in our community because they still shooting at our children. They still killing our sons and our daughters. But you know when this gonna change? When we stop for the women to wear pants and put on dresses. When you stop eating unclean foods. When you appreciate that woolly textured, beautiful hair that you have. And stop trying to perm your hair. Stop trying to look like it be blonde and be like the white woman. Because God never told you to do that in the first place. To alter your image. To be like another person. God made you beautiful how you are, Sister St uh, Stephanie. You understand? God made you perfect how you are. Not to be like somebody else. The woman, the, the Israelite woman and man is the, the epitome of beauty on earth. While we trying to be like them, they trying to be like us. We know, come on. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. The reason why God ain't dealing with us is because of our sins. It's because of our actions towards God. We don't even know what sin is. Sin is when you break God's commandments. When you don't do what God commanded you to do. We know, come on. Is that it on that? Come on. And your sins have hid his face from you. Sister Stephanie, hold on real quick. The Bible says you separated from your God. And he has hid his face from you. You're looking at the face of God. Because when you sin, you forget about God. You understand? When you smoke weed and think you a thug, and think you a gangster and you're doing good, no. You ain't doing good in the eyesight of God. Good is in this Bible. God's face, he has hid his face from you. Thus he won't bless you if you ain't keeping these laws and statutes. He ain't going to protect you if you ain't keeping these laws and statutes. I'm going to tell you who may be blessing you all today. And it ain't the God of this Bible. You think everything is good because you got a job? Your kids are provided for? The devil of this earth has blessed you with that. How about that? Just save the Bible. The devil has blessed you with what you have today if you ain't keeping God's commandments. How do you know you're blessed of God? When you see your people keeping God's commandments and he in the Bible will bless you. God's word from these scriptures will bless you. You will go into the blessings of this Bible. But we are living in a curse as a nation. Right now, I'm smelling weed on these street corners. And I know it's illegal. You smelling weed in our communities right now. What does the weed do for our body? A lot of y'all, y'all kids out here right now, they high. There ain't nobody gonna say nothing. We gonna say something. It's of the devil to smoke, to pollute your Bible, to pollute your Bible. All y'all out here right now got your kids around this weed smoke. The police running up and down the streets ain't said I found nothing. But you're talking about Martin Luther King. If Martin Luther King was here right now, would he be proud of y'all right now? Brothers out here smoking weed? Got your kids out here high on the street corner? That's a shame. We don't come on. So what are we doing? We're teaching the love in the Bible. The love in the scriptures. The love, thus saith the Lord. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.